Cece. This is Cece. Her name is Cece. It stands for cookies and cream. So what do you do when vendors disagree? And I'm just gonna hold a cat for this one, because she's sweet. Leave me alone, please leave me alone. Just wholesome power, as I've been calling it, because it really shouldn't be pronounced how it is, but it is that way. It's always wholesome, but never an hour. So <laughs> let's dive into it. It's not gonna be fully wholesome this time because there's a, a little bit of a story at the start. So let's see. But my name's Katie Sauter, and I'm going to tell you a bit about some wedding drama that is actually related to how to actually navigate some of these situations from a planner's point of view, that maybe that will help you in your journey if this is you and you're struggling with complicated family dynamics. In a Facebook group with a bunch of wedding planners and coordinators, someone asked, how do I deal with complicated family dynamics? She just simply wrote, I'm concerned that the mother of the bride may dismantle the day, amongst other things. It's a lot to discuss in a comment. Oh, mother of the bride dismantling the day? Oh, yikes. Someone else wrote, I had a wedding recently where the sister of the bride threatened to wreck the reception? What? The bride didn't want to invite her, but her parents insisted. I knew where the sister was seated, and I had approval from the bride that if she caused problems, to go find security and have her escorted out. Luckily, there were no problems. You just have to discuss the situation with the bride and groom ahead of time and find out how they want you to handle it on the wedding day. So as a couple, like, if this is a problem that you have, your coordinator can oversee this. And I recommend hiring security if you think that there is a member of the family who wants to wreck your whole wedding and your coordinator can act on that quickly if any problems arise. It's it's not fun, but on the bright side, like you're prepared one on the one hand. On the other hand, you, you also know that you're going to be covered. Someone else recommended having a lot of empathy when discussing these kinds of things with clients. During your initial meeting, ask directly what the family dynamics are so you can better navigate them. Also make sure your, your photographer knows if parents are divorced or that could lead to an awkward situation. As a couple, it's definitely recommended to let your vendors, specifically like your DJ or your photographer uh, and your coordinator, those are the three that you really need to worry about um, as far as family dynamics go, keep them informed so that they don't slip up and make a mistake. That is going to make sure your day goes as smooth as possible. There's a couple things that you could do as a couple. I actually have an e a resource, an ebook that covers all of these things, but uh, there's a couple key things that you can say that will not offend people. I mean, if you want to drop kick them out of your life, that is that is another thing. And, but I, uh, as a wedding planner, navigate with those couples and who, who don't want to ruin their relationships. Actually, we're gonna go into a shameless plug time and then go into it. My shameless plug, I have a freebie wedding time to can help plan your wedding from start to finish. It's 12 months. It's linked in the description below. And also I have a wedding party mini guide in there. If you have a wedding party and you're like, what do I do as the bride or groom? If you are a me member of the wedding party, what are my roles? So it helps answer those questions because the well, first time I was a bridesmaid, first time I was wedding industry, I had no idea what I was doing. So I would have appreciated a resource like this. Shameless plug time over to the story. Some of the complicated family dynamics. Let's get into it. So your first problem, let's say you have solicited opinions and unexpected criticisms. One of the responses could be, thank you for sharing your thoughts. We've put a lot of thought into our choices. We've put a lot of thought into our choices and we're excited about our decisions. We hope that you come even if you don't agree with us. So that could be one way to do it. Always starting at a place of empathy is really what you want to do to maintain these relationships. Another thing you could say, like if it's some other type of family or friend conflict, you could start by saying, we love how much you care. It really means a lot to us. Maybe your first option to continue that sentence would be like, However, we've already paid for X, Y, Z, or sorry, we just can't afford to do that. That's just not in our budget. Another option could be, let's find a happy compromise where we all agree on something, which is definitely better if you have, if you're trying to combine different cultures and heritages. What if you're having like a wedding party conflict? That could be a lot of drama involved in wedding planning conflict. One of the ways to try to mitigate any issues related to that would just to be like, hey, this is a 
celebration of our love and we really want you to be a part of this. Let's focus on creating positive memories instead of fighting. I would really appreciate your support throughout my journey instead of having any conflicts or any issues. Always approaching with an I statement first and foremost rather than a you statement is almost always going to be better. It's, I feel this when you do this because of this. No! I have personally been using this strategy since I heard about it in like middle school and it has gotten me out of so much conflict because people are like I didn't realize that I was making you feel this way when I do this. And just remember my statements always try to do it as I statement or or a we statement if you're like since it's a couple situation you'd be like we feel this way when you say this because this is what we want to be doing. So maybe an example would be like I feel hurt when you talk about my wedding like that and your opinions because this is something that really matters to me and this is how I envision my day going. I really hope you can understand that and work with me to make it a good, cheerful, memorable day instead of focusing so much on what we don't like. It would really make me feel a lot better. So that's one thing. So the next one is kind of like unwanted guests or unwanted kids. You can say to these people, we, we appreciate your enthusiasm, but I'm sorry, the guest list is finalized. So there's two options that you can say <laughs> here. We had to make cuts to fit into our venue's guest limit. Second option, our financial situation just can't handle that many guests. We have already maxed out our budget for this wedding and we need to make sure that the head count stays how it is. And I'm sorry, that means that we can't have kids. How about we find another time to celebrate together? So that's, that's one way to really like handle it in a really kind, sweet way that won't offend people. At least it shouldn't. The final conflict is what do you do when vendors disagree? And I'm just gonna hold a cat for this one because she's sweet. Leave me alone, please leave me alone. Let's discuss our concerns openly and see what we can do to mitigate any concerns, to talk about these opinions and make sure that we can work together to find a solution. We want our collaboration to be fun for both of us and worthwhile. Okay, I think the kitten wants down. Oh. Say goodbye. Cece. This is Cece. Her name is Cece. It stands for cookies and cream. I hope that this was helpful for you. And if you need a little more guidance, I do have some free planning timelines. If you need a little more guidance, join my email list in the description below. You'll get my two freebies, of course. And if you enjoyed this, I do have another whole hour video where I actually just talk about really cute wedding ideas. Or if you want more wedding drama, check out this video where I talk about some am I the asshole content here. Anyway, I want to check that out. It's pretty fun. That man had a spine of steel. It was really interesting. It's pretty crazy. But anyway, boop that like button, put a ring on that subscribe, and keep it PG from me, okay?